In today's video, let's talk about my favorite tips for time blocking in Fantastical and Tick Tick. I'm going to show you two approaches, um, one which is the way I started doing this, and the second one is how I do it now. Stick around. So let's start really quickly by talking about what time blocking is and why we might want to do it. So at its simplest form, time blocking is holding time throughout your week for the non-meeting related things that you need to get done. So let me pull up my Fantastical. So obviously your week starts with a handful of meetings and a handful of errands. And then these white gaps are the rest of the time that you have to get the strategic work that you need to get done with the week. So time blocking is basically holding time on your calendar for non-meeting related things to get the work you need to get done done. So task number one. And in its simplest form, this is how I got started with time blocking. At the time I was using things three. And so what I started doing was I started putting all of my design work and all of my product work on my calendar as calendar events. And it actually worked pretty well. I think there were, were two key problems that I ran into when doing this inside of Fantastical. Um, the first of which is um, this is a very hardcore form of time blocking where when other people on your team look at your calendar, um, you always look booked. Because basically what I would do is I, my most productive time of the day is early on. And so this time block from about 9.15 to noon is when I'm most productive and when I, I want to have my design work planned for. So what I would do is I would have task one here and then I have an afternoon block and I would do task two here. And once I planned out my day, I would, or my week, I would basically have filled up all available time with things I intended to do. And the side effect of that is your teammates can't see what of the time is um, hard, as in it can't be moved, and what of it is flexible. And so like these meetings are, are relatively rigid and, and difficult to move because they have other people involved. And then the, the time blocked pieces are actually reasonably flexible. And uh, from the team member's perspective, they couldn't tell the difference and it just always looked like I was busy. And so in some regards, that was a good thing and in other regards, it was bad. The, the positive was that time was definitely blocked and people wouldn't schedule over it. Um, but at the same time, if someone had a meaningful discussion that they needed you for, they, they really couldn't figure out a good time to do it. And so this worked okay. The other negative side effect of this was in Fantastical, for whatever reason, if you have the iOS app, when you would move one of these things, so let's say something happened and either I didn't finish task one um, or I needed to move it. So let's say I would slide task three over, I'd move task two here. It's glitching out a little bit, but let's undo that. It's definitely freaking out. So I'd move task two here and I would move task one here. The issue I'd run into is I would still get iOS notifications um, for task two at 2 p.m. even though I'd already moved it. And that grew incredibly frustrating to the point that I, I needed a different approach for this and uh, just drove me mad. So let me show you the way I do this currently, which is not using Fantastical. So I use Fantastical exclusively for my actual calendar and I don't put tasks on it. So let's hop over to TickTick. -tick. And TickTick -tick is how I do this now where let's look at next week. TickTick -tick will bring in everything from Fantastical because I've hooked it up to my calendars. Uh, let's see if we, if you want to see how to do that, you can go over to this dot, dot, dot and go to calendar subscriptions. In my case, I found that the local calendars, um, at least as of like six months ago, were more reliable than using the Google ones. I found that they would kind of flash in TickTick -tick for whatever reason, and uh, I just got tired of messing with it, and I just switched over to local calendars, and they've worked reasonably well. So I've got all of those meetings from Fantastical inside of TickTick, -tick, and now what I can do is I can drag my tasks onto my calendar. Um, so let's say, so usually what I'll do is um, when a new task comes in, it'll come into the inbox, it's by default unscheduled, and then before it leaves the inbox, I'll put at least a day on it. I, I usually won't put like a time range on it, I'll just set a day, 
and then that will bring those tasks up to the top like this and then I can drag them onto my calendar accordingly. And then over here on the right, if you tap on this arrange tasks, you can see your unscheduled tasks here on the right. And so basically what I need to do is if I do have intentions of doing these things on these days, I would basically drag those out into specific time slots. So um, this yellow is for outreach. So let's say I, I talked to my mom today. It's okay. We can uh, chat with her later. Um, and then I need to get back to Julie about something. So let's say I've got a nice little time slot here. And what I'll do is I'll just drag this for the amount of time I think it'll take. So I think it'll probably take me about 45 minutes to dig into that. And I'll move the OTC prep down just a little bit. And then um, this already happened. So I'll just mark that done. And then I need to go through YouTube. So I'll do that after work. I'll do that there. And so that's all it really is, is just dragging those things in. And so now I can still see how full my calendar is like I could in Fantastical. Um, but I have the added benefit of my calendar being accurate for both myself and for those who need to schedule time with me. And so then I can go in here and, and, and make these things realistic of how long these are actually going to take. I'm going to work on this before work. And then uh, let's see. I do need to do this. Maybe I'll do this on Wednesday. And that'll take me about 45 minutes. And so I can fill in these little gaps with realistic expectations of the things I can do during those times. And that's how I do time blocking. Hey guys, before you go, if you enjoyed the video, please tap the like button. If you didn't, then that other button works too. And you can help me out a ton by subscribing to the channel. Thanks. Have a great day. Peace.